A ski resort right here in our backyard has a track record of turning athletes into Olympians. So which resort is it? I talked to Bryce Bennett, a Tahoe bred Olympic skier, about how he got his start at Palisades Tahoe. Well, he's a big boy, so he matured much earlier than most kids, so he was always stronger. He was kind of like the fastest boy, the strongest boy. Bryce Bennett is now one of the best skiers in the world. I kept pushing and pushing and pushing. The push began at Palisades Tahoe. I started, I think, at three or four years old on the Mighty Might program. About how many hours do you think you spent coaching Bryce right there? Oh, hours? Maybe a thousand. Skiing runs in his blood. His mom worked at the resort in the 1980s. It was in his early training days where Bryce's coach quickly realized Bryce had the will to win big. But he was winning at every level, again, because he was a very strong and mature boy for his age. According to Schmidt, Tahoe kids have an advantage if they have goals to go for the gold. That's what really separates the kids here. All the kids from this team are just the best free skiers. I mean, I've traveled around the world and I don't know any ski area that has better overall skiers in Squaw Valley. If you just look around, the average skier here is way better than the average skier anywhere else in the, in the United States. However, Bryce had to change his game early on because of his height. Being too tall is often seen as a disadvantage for competitive skiers. So he would just adapt personally. I guess the hardest part for him was slalom skiing because they're the quick short turns and he had a little harder time adapting to slalom. Now, decades later, Bryce is making slalom skiing look easy. He earned his second World Cup victory in 2023, but it didn't all start to click for this talented trucky guy until recently. I just changed the approach to more urgency every single day. And even when I had a good day of training, it, it wasn't enough. I finally felt really good on my skis uh, in December. So good, in fact, Bryce ended his 2023 ski season in his best downhill ranking ever. So Bryce is based in the Tahoe area. He and his wife love sticking to their Tahoe roots, like to go fishing and camping. And he's just a chill Tahoe guy. And like I said, he's one of the best skiers in the world. And one of the tallest, too. Yeah, in the 2018 Olympics, he was the tallest skier to compete in the 2018 Pyeongchang tall Olympics. 6'7". Six, 6'7"? Seven. Six, seven. Yeah. Wow. Does he play basketball also? <laughs> Not that I know of. He could start a new sport, <laughs> ski basketball. He'd win it all of that. That's but they, great. Uh, another thing I want to talk about, Chris, yeah. is I learned something new filming this. It okay. was the fact that at our ski resorts in Tahoe, there's such a diverse amount of snow pack in different conditions mm -hmm. that that's what sets people up for success when they go to compete in the World Cup in the Olympics. So they actually call it uh, Sierra cement when we get these really big storms and then we get warm weather like we're going to get this week. Right. So that's really hard to ski on, but very similar to some of the courses they do in the Olympics yeah. in, in Switzerland and in the Alps and all that. So we're setting kids up for success. So here. no matter where the Olympics are held, they can handle the terrain because they're used to the varied terrain up there. Uh -huh. Interesting. What an interesting story. Six, seven. Wow.